Hello everyone, welcome back to our Let's Play Skyrim. This is the modded version. Uh, we are just starting out our game. We have exited the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. And from here I am pretty much lost. I have no idea where I'm at. So we're going to go ahead and check our map. Looking around here, we are on the extreme south side of the map it does appear. Let's go ahead and head to the north. Moon path to Oswar. Alright. Hmm. Let's just head up in the direction of White Run. Place a marker. And we shall go. That will at least lead us in the correct direction. Let's go ahead and open our magic. I will ready my Conjure Familiar spell. It's pretty much the only... offensive spells I have right now. We have Flames and Conjure Familiar. Now then, I believe we're going to be heading in that direction, but let's go ahead and stay on the path for the time being. I am running the Skyrim Monster mod as well, and that could potentially cause us to run into some pretty nasty things out here. This is actually the like version 12 or something like that, I do believe. It is not available on the Nexus. It is, however, available on... I think it's Mod DB. We're in Falkreath. Another of the mods that I am running is uh, Climates of Tamriel. You may perhaps notice the weather effects are possibly different from what you may be used to. The climate of Tamriel does quite a bit to change different things. Make uh, everything seem a little more realistic. The direction I want to go still that way. Really? Oh no, this must be... Ah, Dead Man's Drink. This must be for one of my quests. Let's check the map. Yes. Go ahead and save our game as I said I was going to do earlier, but I never did. Did auto save though. Let's go ahead and open this. Being level one, I'm not completely sure I'm capable of completing these Dark Brotherhood missions. Let's check. I need to go. Where do I need to go? Kill Edonius Bagnus. Agnes Mill. I must travel to the land of uh, the town of Iverstead and kill the beggar Narfi. By the light of the moon. Okay, so what quest is leading me into this place here? I don't really want to go to elsewhere right now. One day I will have revenge! But for my contacts, await. All right. Let's go ahead and deactivate that. All right. Okay, it must have been Moon Path to Elsewire. I think was leading me into that tavern for some reason. Why I'm not sure. Take care with those flames. Yeah, shut up. The Dark Lord does not. Listen to stupid guards that get shot in the knee. Uh, 
All right. I'm just waiting for something evil and terrible to jump out and try to rip my face off. But as we go, we may as well gather mountain thistles. The better to make poison with. Along with other nasty things. Have more thistle. Excellent. All right. What is this? Is uh, yes, it's something. Uh, something not agreeable with us. I believe they are shooting at me. Indeed, they are shooting at the Dark Lord. How dare you shoot at the Dark Lord? Trying to drop boulders on my face. Crap. I need a bow so I can return fire. Tell you what. Maybe I can run up here and let my... Crap! How do I get up there? I must go this way. Darn it, man. They didn't make this easy. What is that? It's a little tiny bear. Die, baby bear! I'll take your bear claws. And your bear pelts as well. Where is your mother? Pine watch discovered. I would like to go back there and kill those men that were shooting at me. I think I need to go this way. Yes, kill that man! Kill that man, stupid wolf. No! You suck, you stupid wolf! Ouch! Your magicka is low! That may prevent you from casting spells! No freaking kidding! It's been preventing me for quite a while now! Yes! Kill that man! Dark Lord commands it, wolf! Have some fire! Yes! Look at him. He melted into nothing. We have a lockpick. Ah, good. We have a bow now. I can return fire at men like this now. The iron dagger is fairly worthless. The fur armor is not completely worthless. What else do we have? More arrows. Let's see. For what it weighs, that's worth all right. And... I suppose we'll take the bow. Excellent. Let's continue on the way. White Run is in this direction. Am 
my frame rate is slightly slower than what I'm used to, I guess, because I am actually recording for a change. Uh-oh, what do we have, skeevers? Die, skeever! Crap! How many are there? Yes, burn! I'll take your tail as well. Anything I can use to make poison. Ah! Where are you? You rat? I hear something. What do I hear? Fern root! Fern root! Crap! Get off of me, you stupid rats! Do not bite the Dark Lord! This is not good. I need to run. There's something in the water biting me as well. Some mud crab. I would be quite happy when I actually have... Ah, crap. Now I have a bandit to someone chasing me as well. I don't even know which direction I'm going. How wonderful. Who are those men? Uh, I don't even know what that is. I'm just running for my life. I'll stop to pick some thistle though. <laughs> now the snowcat is dead. Okay. I think perhaps things have stopped chasing the Dark Lord. Is that a guard? I think that may be a guard. On the bright side, we also have something here to loot. We have a Stormcloak soldier. Nordic bolts. Crossbow. Let's go ahead and take those. And... Your armor is worth something. What is that? It's a spider. Frostbite venom. Where did that snow cat go? Maybe the snow cat ran away. All right. Now that I'm not being chased, I suppose I can actually look and see where the heck I'm actually going. Helgen. Dead man's drink. Where is Riften at? Oh, I think Riften is all the way over here. Indeed. Riften is where I actually need to go. So we will set our marker for that. Although, that's going to take me directly through the mountains, and I don't think that's going to be very good. But maybe we can make it. We're going to be doing some mountain climbing. Possibly. All right. Have I gotten any skill increases yet? I don't know. I have another fortress. I think these are storm cloaks. Hello? Why are you threatening me? I don't know why you just whipped out your axe. Find the dragon's victim inside Helgen. Oh, yes, okay. So this is where you actually start the main quest. And I believe you do it... with one of these burnt corpses. Somewhere in here... 
is a burnt corpse. And it will actually start the main quest. Uh, let's see here. If I actually activate the live another life, it might actually point me to the guy that I need to find. Should be around here somewhere. Okay. All right now. Looks like I can go out this way. Alright. Are we getting warmer or not? Perhaps. Okay, it looks like what I whatever I need is right down there. But I can't get to it. it. Must be on the other side of that wall. Acid! I'm getting confused here. Okay. I've got to head back on the other side of this wall. That, my friends, is the downside to the Live Another Life mod. If you actually want to complete the main quest like I do, it can make things a little difficult. Okay, I think it was still in that direction. Can I open this? Hmm. It should be. Somewhere around here. Okay, let's look at our map. Uh, open the local map. Okay. It looks like that's actually outside the town or something. Do I have to go outside the town to... Find the corpse? Can I run through here? Okay! Here we are! Aha! Activate the burned corpse. The body turns to ash as you touch it. But somehow a leather journal survived the attack. Read the journal. Okay. So, let's go ahead and open our inventory. Uh, which of these journals is it? I have a couple different journals. Let's click on the book here. Uh, now then. Is it a new beginning? The book contains the chronicles of your past. What would you like to do? Close it. I don't think that's the one we need. Alright. 
check the adventurer's journal. Ah. Twelfth of last seed, E2, 201. Hard to believe I filled up that whole journal already. I never realized how much of Cyrodiil I hadn't seen yet. So much diversity, yet so much destruction from the Great War. A lot of history has been lost here forever. The expedition is ending soon. Returning home, I have one last task to perform before I do the same. I'll send the other journal ahead with my supplies and the artifacts we recovered. Fourteenth of last seed, E2, E4, 201. I've received word from my contacts in Skyrim. All seem quiet for now. Probably for... The first time since High King Torug was killed. I should be able to make the crossing quietly enough during the night. So long as there are no Imperial patrols to deal with. Fifteenth of last seed, E4201. So much for being discreet. I crossed the border near a small village called Helgen. And made my way up to Darkwater Crossing. Unfortunately, I can't get back to my camp now because the area is filled with Imperial patrols. It seems they are searching for someone, someone very important. If I'm not mistaken, someone they intend to ambush here. This could be the very thing I am seeking here in Skyrim. But crossing to the border in the dead of night without passing through the checkpoints has turned out to be a very bad plan. 16th of last seed, E4201. I woke early this morning with an imperial sword pressed to my neck. A patrol found me camped under a rock outcropping at the edge of the volcanic marshes. I guess I wasn't as well hidden as I thought. I have no idea where they're taking us, but I've been stuffed into the back of a rickety old cart being pulled by an even more rickety-looking old nag. At least, they let me keep my journal for now. The 17th of last seed, E4201. Shores bones! If only I had known sooner the ambush... The captives in the cart with me. Stormcloak rebels, led by none other than Ulfric Stormcloak himself. There's no time to explain properly. I scarcely believe it myself. If I hadn't been here for the dragon, I'd not even be here to write this down. Yes, a dragon. Big, black, as large as the towers of the keep itself. It swooped out uh, of nowhere and laid waste to the village and the keep. General Tolens didn't take my head today, or the heads of several Stormcloak rebels. But that doesn't matter now. Hadvar and Roloff set aside their differences long enough to help me and a few others escape alive. Only the three of us made it this far. They've gone back into the keep to help the other survivors, while I've been asked to get warning to Riverwood as fast as possible. I still can't believe it. A dragon. Straight out of the legends. Nobody back home will believe me. All right, so now that we've found that, it actually tasks you with going into the cave. I must investigate the cave, so let's check the map here. The cave is down that way, so I can go ahead and get out of here and head down to the cave. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm not sure that that's what I wanted to do. I think this has me going inside. I don't really think that I need to go inside. Yes. It would be wonderful if it would load faster. This might actually be a good spot to go ahead and end this video. Um... I think we're probably around 15, 20 minute mark right now. As always, if you enjoy our videos, I hope you'll like and subscribe. And we will see you again soon.